time by Ibn Ebu. And that was a very clean header, you have to say, from OK Okagoteo. That's the man who has brought Wari Wolves level, and boy, did they deserve that. They beat by far the better side in this second half. And uh, Dele Ajiboye, he saw himself in no man's land, but that header, that header needed to produce. Lifts it very high and another great header on oh, the crossbar, but somehow not Real United got lucky there, and the man laments that that was another wonderful effort. You can see the ball just driven in, made for his head. He beats a Jiboe, and uh, you have to ask, what was Zimba thinking about? <laughs> he actually headed it away from danger on behalf of Nasarawa United. But that to Greece and South Africa, he crosses with a right foot and a header. It's a beautiful, fantastic ball. from John Nam, uh, what a header it was, a beauty of a goal, and uh, when a match is in this situation, only beauty of a goal like this can settle it. Well, the home fans are on their feet, they've been expecting that, just watch here, I think Wari Wolves just switched up at a very wrong time, and they were meant to play by a very, in fact, three players could have scored there, eventually it was uh, Okagotewo Oke, who powered his header, in behind the reach of the other there was nothing good. Cool. But it seems to have uh, let up a little bit. We're just hoping that this will continue. <laughs> well, the 90 minutes for Warriors, uh, the war, war, war Wolves, rather. <laughs> Daniel Akpei, a good number of them actually have had a look in in the national team. Daniel Akpei, Ike Tangod, and uh, as well as Ike Chukwi Benebu, and of course, uh, Eyimofe, Joseph Eyimofe. Uh, don't forget Abu Aziz as well, as uh, if I need uh, Abu Aziz, of course, campaigning for the Sand Eagles as well for Nigeria. So it's a loaded squad, and that's the formation they're coming up with. 5-1-4-1. Uh, the senior team. Really on the strength of what they've built. That will be handball, I think. It is indeed the handball advantage now where uh, worry wolves. The wolves look hungry. Aquai United look quite united at the moment. And they're good painted a very bright future for Aquai United there. But uh, it's and on the last one they had. Uh, worry wolves would do well to organize themselves very well in the defense. A bit of recriminations and that's what happened. Taking a ride on the back of uh, Aqua United's Ukeme Davis was uh, how the free kick was given away. And Yefyok going with the ball. Do they get a corner kick or do they? The referee says it's a goal kick. Goal kick indicates the referee, but it took quite some time to reach that decision. So it must have been uh, a borderline case. Yeah. Coyote. You would think it might take him even more time to get on the score sheet. Let's go to Wari Wolves. The trip time whistle should be going any moment now. I mean, it could be made for you. Well, that was uh, coming very close, but good shooting of the ball for goalkeeper Daniel Pei to collect. So it was the Kufre Ebom that was looking to left here. Um, you would think some encouragement for Aqua United, but then. Wari Wolves, uh, they are made up of big players who have played several to be able to see this one out. The pass meant for the pass meant for Ezekiel Basike. Okay. It's second of the afternoon and it's Enyimba five. Shots of Potako two. And that's from two goals down. Specialized area. Um, you about that. Very well taken goal. And it's I mean, he was just dumped on the bench. You saw him here trying to cover out an opening. But in all of this, Good luck on Amadou. Simply did not allow him to get past him. Rolled on the ground. But if he felt there really wasn't anything in all of that. Is that your ball? 
sends that ball looking for a good alo. A chance for Rangers. Referee's whistle goes. The referee Baba warning for Sagona Godalo. Oh, Sagona Godalo, they practically bumped into Ogaga Terro. Okay, their captain, as okay, okay, we all go for the ball. And on that occasion, he went. Uchi Osai was the other player. It wasn't quite a name at Heartland. And here he comes. He chips it. But he hits it. Take it oh, out. Oh, there. No. You can see the reaction from the players on the bench. It was a nearly from Oke. Ogaga Terro. Ogaga Terro was of sunshine last season. A brilliant move this was. The normal set piece. As soon as it was taken, all he had to do was try to punch down or DJ punch it down. But then Ogaga Terro, who had a free just side. But he gives the ball away. So he goes down low. Nice play there from the Rangers man. Uh, can he go down low? Get something out of this one. He goes down low. Justice. It's really big coming. Not a day to really shout, but they sent Rangers packing, and then their place at CX Faxian will take their place. It's a club that Rangers uh, formally knocked out of the competition. Eilish didn't work for him. The ball from OK. Just headed the ball into touch for three. Yeah, safety first option. Good defending. At least that get your fellow. Play. Top five bracket of the league. We give them 30 points. Well, so that's uh, the key moment of the match so far. Coming after 68 minutes, good ball driven in from the corner flag by Jordan. Now the substitute and powerfully headed behind Okebute on that. But stadium, a stadium of 5,000 seats. Uh, Poor this season. Just as uh, the two victories gained on this ground, they've already lost once here. And if with the head to head against Sunshine Stars, it doesn't favor the team from Port Harcourt because seeing who is making his first appearance for this season for Sharks, both in the week nine transfer window, free player. But he was offended that time by OK Ogagotewo, uh, who is a new transfer for Sunshine Stars this season. Anthony Okemiri. At the near side here, waited for the ball. He didn't uh, get it when he made that. Uh, Chibuzo has two players on him. Couldn't beat uh, as a leg of OK. Ogago Teo. And a cross in about uh, really, really timely intervention and clearance from Sunshine Stars as they tidy up in their defense. Defense. But I'm here. Uh, playing very well. Sharks building up uh, very well. In the box it goes. Uh, but then uh, it's a goal kick. Well, he went down very easily, really. He, 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 he thought uh, he was going to get a penalty, but not like that. I mean, that was uh, just a blatant dive. Nothing happened to him, and he was looking in. Hussein, for the ball. Can he get... Uh... Defending. Still, Wari Woods, Musa Najari, looking for support. And the support came, and the end is going to be a throw in to Sunshine Stars. And we've seen that still, it's Wari Woods, Neil, Sunshine Stars, Neil. Both, both sides trying to get a lot closer to Caterpillars who still stay at the yeah. But I'm sure Sunshine Stars would have something to say about that. The last two minutes of uh, normal time here, and the corner kick, well won by a Tebo again for Worry Wolves. Ogene Karo a Tebo, a young man that has won uh, hundreds of thousands of hats. And the equalizer finally, into Akita to come. A good ball again, driven in this time by Ibenebu. And that was a very clean header, you have to say, from OK Okagoteo. That's the man who has brought Wari Wolves level, and boy, did they deserve that. They beat by far the better side in this second half. 
and uh, Dele Ajiboye, he saw himself in no man's land, but that header, that header needed to produce to Greece and South Africa, he crosses with the right foot and the header, it's a first goal, fantastic goal, fantastic goal. from John Nam, uh, what a header it was, beauty of a goal, and uh, when a match is in this situation, only beauty of a goal like this can settle it. Well, the home fans out their feet, they've been expecting that, just watch here and think, Wolu was just switched up at a very wrong time, and they were meant to play by a very, in fact, three players could have scored there, eventually it was uh, Okagotewo 